Brian yeah. Dunger, investigative reporter here today with Seth Davis, twin brother of alleged corrupt dark money developer Ted. Can you give us a little idea on how it all started? Well, it all started here in uh, Chickenville, USA. I grew up here, we had chickens, eggs. My brother, Ted, he was, he was corrupt from the very beginning. He was a developer. I remember him, he bought a, he had a dulcimer and uh, he traded it for some camera equipment and started developing film. And he developed that and then my sister, she started developing at a very early age. First she was a B and then a C. Skip D, E and F, I don't know if they have F. Seth, um, there was a rumor that your brother Ted was in line to help in and out Burger develop a new sandwich. Can you give us some background on why that fell through? Well, we, we did try and develop that. We tried to develop it to the point where uh, it would be everywhere in every home and every house. And, uh, you know, it was actually my mama that called me up one day from my childhood home and uh, said, honey, you got to develop, you got to keep developing. Never stop developing, and just develop and develop. Seth, you know, your brother was the water boy on the high school football team and he helped develop those player skills. Do you think that helped in his development career? That, 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 that may have had a lot of, a lot of impact. I'm yeah, not, I'm not really sure, but uh, you know he's he's blamed for a lot of development here in the town, and he hasn't really done that much development. There's some rumors out there that the dark money behind your twin brother Ted is actually an LLC you created and deposited ten million dollars into for him. Is that true? You know, Brian, I'm getting very uncomfortable with these questions here. I think uh, is there is there any way we can go to like a uh, a shadow thing and the, and, and, the, and the hidden voice thing. I, is there any way we can cut to that? Back in the studio with our confidential informant, we've changed his voice and blacked out his image. Do you feel comfortable now, sir? I do, I do. On the day you donated $50,000 to the marriage campaign, did you and your brother break the law? It was a dark day. We broke God's law, we broke Murphy's law, law and order. Is there any other time you broke the law? Yeah, we used to make ecstasy, homemade ecstasy. I mean, my brother, we give it to developers and go to a rave. What's a rave? It's where developers go to dance. We take ecstasy because it makes us better dancers. Tell me about that night, how it all started. Well, we, we, I had a bunch of developers over at my house. And we were all playing Pictionary. 